When this video is complete, you'll have a vision for using Cypress IO and web testing that combines engineering and business for better built-in quality. I'm Sean J. Burke. I'm the kid that took everything apart, put it back together, and when you told me not to touch it, I broke it trying to figure out what was going on. That's how I became a technologist. One of the things I do is software. Lately, I've been focused on quality and automation. While everyone agrees we need quality, and nay, will there ever be a detractor of automate all the things, somehow testing is everyone's least favorite activity in the software development life cycle. I am, therefore, obsessed with the idea of making testing the best part of software delivery. One challenge in testing automation, in my opinion, is the transfer of business knowledge to an engineer. What is it that business user wanted to automate? Trying to solve that problem is part of what caught my attention with Cypress. Cypress had a plugin for Chrome to record a user's actions on the website. The plugin would then spit out, let's say, Cypress code. I had this vision and I, I get excited about these things. What if a business user could record what they wanted tested and hand that off to an engineer as an outline of the test? Could that help us make our testing more business centric? To share this vision of a business user recording something and then it being implemented with Cypress.io, let's set up a little story as the basis of our discussion. Imagine we have an agile team responsible for our loan application. There's a product owner, developer, and tester. To enable our pseudo loan app, I leverage Monday.com to mock up an example form. I work in the mortgage industry, thus filling out a loan application seemed natural. The form is short, it's an example, as the point is demonstrating Cyprus, but it should be easy to envision a typical agile team managing something like this. Our business user is going to open up the loan application and fill it out. The extensibility of Cyprus allowed third-party developers to create a plugin that will record a user's action on a website. And then, as I said earlier, it spits out Cyprus code. When the actions on the website are captured, we'll be able to send them to our quality engineer when we're done. This can become the basis of allowing a business-centric user to empower quality as part of a built-in quality approach with our agile team. Our engineer, in turn, can take that base, work the software engineering QA magic, and create a program that tests the functionality defined by our business user. How cool is that? <laughs> All right, in this video I wanted to introduce from a business point of view using Cypress IO for web-based user interface testing. I tried to communicate a vision where using the Cypress recorder, a business user could record actions on a website and pass that off to an engineer for further automation. Saying built-in quality is easy, and this is one example of implementing it. If you like this video, check out two others in the series. In one video, we'll show you how to install Visual Studio Code, Node.js, and Cypress tools if you don't already have them. This is the toolbox any human can use to automate with Cypress. In another video, we'll dive into the specifics of implementing the test you have seen in this video. If you came from a business point of view, share this vision with your engineers and point them to the subsequent follow-ups. You'll now be speaking a common language, and that helps right from the start.